everybody. This is the whispering voice. I hope you're all happy and well. And please forgive the uh, clock ticking if you can hear it. I've just um, upped the gain on this microphone slightly so the only problem with that is it can pick up very, very delicate noises. Well, it's um, actually a beautiful sunny day here in North Wales. And it's nice to see the sun and be able to uh, absorb some vitamin D. But along with the sunshine, some um, very blustery winds which you may be able to hear also I'm not sure but uh, incoming with that are some squalls of showers of rain very blustery rain showers um, but they come and go I'll show you now some video of uh, two magpies, birds, who have decided to nest in a tree very near me. So I filmed them just for you to see them. And it may not be something very exciting, but just to think they're making a nest in order to lay their eggs and breed and the conditions they're having to do it in at the moment as you'll see the nest is being shaken quite severely and yet they come in and out and do their bits and bobs and they don't seem to be phased by it some people in this country, I'm not sure about other countries, but um, they see these birds as a pest. But um, I think they're birds to me. And that's it. I don't see them as a pest or anything else. They have a right to live. Um, they weren't asked to be born like any other living thing including us and uh, they're beautiful birds really white and blue and black uh, they seem because they they will scavenge anything and some people see that as a nuisance but uh, they're only doing what's natural to them really but they'll have a nice home here and they'll have food if they wish very close and water which will help them especially if it turns cold uh, the temperatures here have been just above freezing but the wind chill has made it feel minus four which uh, in America and Canada would feel like summer to think what uh, temperatures they've been having uh, lately and especially in their winters they have very very cold um, winters there but um, yeah, you can hear in this video as you know, in the last video I did, I spoke about sitting in a field or anywhere, just taking in some of the sounds we hear every day and putting them to good positive use, really, and thinking positively of them, especially if they're gently in the background. Well, um, 
some of the sounds which I enjoy listening to. You may be, hear, may be able to hear the wind in the background as it's um, blowing against the house. Maybe not, but um, you may hear the odd blast in a minute. And the sound of the wind. I've recorded as it comes down the chimney. And it's a beautiful sound, like a howling, a gentle howling, whistling. And um, you'll hear it now in the background. And I think, well hopefully along with this whisper video, the whispering and the sound of the wind, even the clock ticking. You can hear that creaking then. That's the the wind hitting the roof. It doesn't do any damage, it just makes a noise. But all these sounds together can send you to sleep. If you think of them positively. Make use of them. Concentrating on those sounds, closing your eyes, and it can soon send you to sleep. The two cats that are on night shifts at the moment, and by that I mean they sleep all day. these videos or listens to these videos nothing disgusting in it, even though it may 
may sound that, but I've never seen nothing like it in my life. So I've invited her to come here and train my two. Um, it's a wonderful thing to see. Very, very funny actually. I've been out walking yesterday and the fields and the footpaths absolutely like a bog of mud and it takes the double the effort really to walk in them conditions which is a good workout for you as long as you don't slip over but um, I enjoy it but you see it's very difficult to film in those conditions because straight away the the audio has gone with all the wind and you would have to um, voice over them which isn't a problem but um, I try I, when I go out I do like to capture the ambience of what I can hear when I'm out as you know in previous videos but uh, I may film a night walk one of these days you won't be able to see much but <laughs> um, we'll see anyway see what I can do but you have to be aware of um, the loud noises um, but that is part and parcel of the filming outdoors really I quite enjoy it. Well, we're into February and time doesn't that fly. Good grief. I think it's true what they say as you get older it goes quicker. Because I remember when I was younger time didn't have drag and a week seemed like a year now the weeks just fly by and I, I think it's especially that way if you're a busy person and have a busy life you can think to yourself where did that month go huh? you can try to make plans but um, a lot of times they don't take into fruition but um, they don't come about because you're so busy or whatever. I remember I was thinking back the other day at my, my grandmother's house, I think it was, when I was young. I should have a rocking chair, never used it. And the first thing I used to go for was this rocking chair. And I remember I used to just tap my foot and it went back and to back and to. And many a time I used to drift away into dreamland really. I was a very big daydreamer. Well I still am really. And think of things and things I'd like to do. dream of being in positions that I'd never ever be able to be in and uh, think how I would be in those positions and by that I mean if I had my own land, farm, animal sanctuary, anything what life would be like rocking chair. I can imagine here on a day like today get comfortable in it. Just tap your foot back and to back and to and of course they're rocking backwards and forwards slowly listening to the wind, the rain, the birds and you'd soon forget everything. 
as it matters really and it could only be for a few moments but it recharges the batteries and clears your head and uh, keeps you sane <laughs> the simple simple things in life which make all the difference saying earlier I've been uh, just, just adjusting the um, gain setting on this microphone playing about with it so hopefully it will sound very close but as I say it will also pick up the wind noises and all sorts of background noises creaks and but um, it may add to the relaxation effect So um, just thank you to everyone for all your comments and private messages and um, for listening really. I know a lot of people have listened to me for years, some of them since the beginning and uh, thank you so much for sharing this journey for so long. start out as strangers but um, we all end up as friends really cyber friends <laughs> it's uh, wonderful there we are that was the wind shaking the blade these cats up. They could sleep through World War Three, and they'd only wake to eat. I don't know. Lives of lords and ladies they have. <sighs> but um, that's I think about it. But anyway if you've got this far of you Maybe you've drifted to sleep, bored to tears. <laughs> Thank you so much yet again. And uh, also, sometimes I can't comment or reply to comments because of this new Google Plus. I think some people haven't got a Google Plus account and you're not able to reply to their comments. So, um, I think Musk and Dusk sent me a comment. I couldn't reply to it, so I had to um, send a private message. So just in case anyone thinks I'm being rude, I'm not. It's um, for some reason I can't always reply to comments. Um, it's all okay my side, I think. So um, anyway. I read everyone and I appreciate them as well. You're very kind. So, as always, thanks for listening. Stay relaxed. Make sure you have time for yourself. And take care of each other and yourselves. And I'll speak to you soon.